Money Matters, Financial Stewardship Hello everyone, this is Ro Ancelis Capistrano of One Million Club. In this video, excited akong i-share sa inyo mga natutunan ko sa Money Matters Seminar na naatinan namin ng husband ko. Ang nag-organize dito ay CCF. Dito kami nag-aaten ng service ng husband ko every Sunday. Marami kaming natututunan sa CCF about relationship, perseverance, assuming responsibility, Kaya gusto naman naming malaman ang turo ng CCF about handling money. Personally, I encourage you to attend CCF service para ma-bless din kayo sa talk. You can search recorded talk sa YouTube. Just type CCF. Si Pastor Joby and wife niyang si Sister Cindy Soriano ang speakers for this talk. Tara, simulan na natin. First, contentment. Contentment is very important. Pastor Joby said, You will be contented if there is a change of heart and change of mind. Madalas di tayo masaya kasi di natin nakikita or naa-appreciate kung ano ang meron tayo. Naalala ko sa mga videos na napanood ko, madalas ang sinasabi, Successful people are grateful people. Dapat ma-appreciate natin kung ano ang meron tayo ngayon. Halimbawa, kung nakakakain ka 3 times a day, alam mo bang kabilang ka sa top 10% rich people? Marami kasing nagugutom at marami, maswerte na makakain ng isang beses sa isang araw. Di ba tayo madalas pa nga, dalawa hanggang tatlo pa ang ulam ang nasa na mesa? Madalas nating sinasabi, sana manalo ako sa loto or sinasabi magiging masaya ako kapag nakapag-asawa ko ng mayaman. Di dahil may 1 million ka, guaranteed na magiging masaya ka. Marami pa nga nanalo sa loto na nabaon pa sa utang. Kasi walang contentment. Again, we have to be contented to what we have now. Kaya marami may financial problem kasi ito yung akala natin na tama at ginagawa ng karamihan. YOLO, you only live once. Buy whatever you want now. Use credit cards lavishly. Borrow if you need to buy. Get rich quick schemes. Work, work, accumulate money. Pero in God's economy, Honor God with your tithes or donation. Do not owe anybody. Stay away from get-rich-quick schemes. Do not store treasures on earth. Be honest in all your dealings. Do not love money. God's perspective of success is having spiritual riches, not worldly riches. Second, we have to keep in mind na merong God's part and our part. God is the owner of everything. controller of all circumstances, and provider of all our needs. Kapag inisip mo na si God ang owner ng money mo, di ka masyadong magiging attached sa pera mo. When we believe that everything belongs to God, when something good or bad happens to what we possess, it will not affect our attitude to make us happy or sad because we will be content. Mahirap apply kung iisipin mo. Halimbawa, kakawidro mo lang ng bonus mo tapos bigla kang nanakawan sa biyahe. Siyempre, may isip mo bakit ako pa yung nanakawan. Marami naman dyan masama o gali, sana sila na lang nanakawan. I don't deserve this. Pero kung mag-move on na lang tayo, yun pala ang dapat natin gawin. Kasi pag nag-move on tayo, mas magiging productive tayo sa trabaho, mas okay pakikisama natin. At isang araw, gigising ka na lang. Pinabalik na sa'yo ni God yung nawala sa'yo. Di man exact value ng bonus mo, sigurado mas malaki pa value ng nawala sa'yo. Pwedeng ang binigay sa'yo ni God, job promotion, good health, business opportunity. Again, God is the owner of everything. What about our part? Our part is to be faithful stewards. Naisip ko pinahiram lang ni God ang pera sa atin, kaya dapat responsible tayo sa paghandle nito. Give at least 10% of your income as tithe or donation to church. I'm applying this almost 6 years na at sobra-sobra yung blessings na ibabalik sa'yo ni God. Ang ganda din ang sinabi ni Pastor, Giving is an act of worship. Giving is our privilege. Magkaroon tayo ng trabaho, malaking blessings na yun from God. Kasi ang daming walang trabaho. Importante na magbibigay tayo ng 10% tithe or donation sa church Not because we are required to do, but because we honor God. We acknowledge that everything we have is from God. Back to our part, that we have to be faithful stewards, 
Kung alam mong pahiram lang ni God ang money na hawak mo, dapat magamit natin tong tool to bless other people. Like kung gusto mong gamitin sa business ang pera, magbibigay ba ng value sa tao yung business mo? Makakatulong ba yung business mo? Third, make a list of short-term and long-term financial goals for your future. Importante na may plano tayo para ma-achieve natin yung gusto natin. Plano para sa education fund ng anak? Plano kung kailan ma-zero out ang utang? Plano kung magkano target income nyo? Magkano ang target savings and investment? Dapat specific and dapat may target date. Fourth, set up and live on a realistic budget. Spend wisely, don't buy on impulse, ask God for wisdom. Wait 24 hours. Within the week after ng seminar, nag-review kami ng budget ng husband ko. Pinag-usapan namin kung ano babawasan like yung pagkain namin sa restaurant every Sunday. Nag-agree din kami na ililimit na yung pag-travel kasi may anak na kami. At isa sa inapply namin yung pagsusulat ng nagastos every day para mas ma-monitor namin ang expenses. It will only take 2 to 5 minutes to do that. Pwede kang maglista sa gabi bago ka matulog or kinabukasan pag-ising mo para di mo makalimutan. Maganda tong activity na to kasi di ba kapag lumabas ka ng bahay may gastos kang 50 pesos, 100 pesos, 40 pesos. Pag tinotal mo, naka 500 pesos ka na pala. So kung sinunat mo, mas masasaktan ka kasi ang laki agad ng nagastos mo. Unlike pag di nakalista, akala mo maliit lang nagastos mo. Fifth, avoid debt, get out of it quickly. Sabi nga, the rich rules over the poor and the borrower becomes the lender's slave. I'm sure wala naman sa atin ng gustong maging slave or alipin ng ibang tao. Kaya kung di mo maiwasang umutang, isave mo tong Bible verse sa phone mo. Bago ka matem- magkaskas ng credit card, basahin mo muna to. Sabi nga ng speaker na naatinan ko dati, hindi ka ipinanganak para magbayad lang ng utang. Sabi ni Pastor, that is more of spiritual problem than financial problem. First time kong narinig sa speaker yon, Kaya daw tayo nagkakautang kasi we can't wait for cash. Di natin maantay yung right time na ibibigay ni God, yung cash na need natin para pambili. Kung gusto mong maging debt free, ilista mo lahat ng utang mo. Bayaran mo yung may maliit na balance para mabawasan ang monitor mong utang. Then, bayaran mo yung may malaking interest. Ibenta mo yung unused things mo para makonvert mo into cash, pambayad sa utang, at makipag-negotiate ka sa inutangan mo. Huwag mong iiwasan ang inutangan mo. Kausapin mo siya na may intention kang magbayad at sabihin mo ang plano mo kung paano mo siya babayaran. For me personally, kung gusto mo talaga makabayad sa utang, find additional source of income. Mas malaki income mo, mas mabilis ka makakabayad ng utang. Sixth, do not co-sign, do not enter into partnerships with unbelievers. Nasa Bible na dapat di ka pumapayag na maging guarantor. Marami na kasing case na tumakbo ang nangutang at ang nahirapang magbayad yung guarantor. At importante na kung magnenegosyo ka, dapat same values kayo ng pipiliin mong partner. Meaning kung ikaw honest tapos yung partner mo gustong mandaya sa negosyo, parang ang hirap magpatakbo ng business pag ganun. 7. Be honest in all your ways. Do not cheat others. Work as unto the Lord. He gives skills, success, and promotions. When it comes to our action or doing, let us keep these verses in mind. Kahit pa may nanloko sa'yo, pwedeng na-scam ka na. Kahit yung boss mo, mas paborito yung office mate mo na isa, kaya siya yung na-promote, okay lang yan. Maging honest ka pa din. Gawin mo pa rin yung best mo. Sabi nga, whatever you do, do your work heartily, as for the Lord rather than for men. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, it is the Lord Christ whom you serve. Lahat ng nawala sa iyo, ibabalik ni Lord. Lahat ng effort mo, nakikita ni Lord. He will give you reward na 10 times ng value ng nawala sa iyo. 8. Consistently save 10% of all income for future investments. Start now. Diversify your investments, set up an emergency fund totaling 6 months of your monthly living budget. Eto makikita nyo na tinuturo ko na sa ibang videos ko. If you want to start investment, Kaiser is our recommended investment program. 
check nyo na lang yung link below if you want to know more and request proposal. Nakakatuwa lang kasi yung tinuturo namin na financial foundation, same lang din sa nabanggit sa seminar na good investments. Number one, invest in your business or profession kasi yan ang magiging source of your cash flow. Second, investment in real estate and pati insurance is a smart investment. Nine, organize your estate today, complete an estate checklist, make a personal will to protect your family. Ito din isa sa ginawa namin ng husband ko. Sa sobrang busy natin, di natin masyadong napapansin yung ibang bagay na importante din natin bigyan ng oras. Halimbawa, may investment ka na, dapat ilista mo yan. Sino ang contact person and ano contact details ng agents mo sa insurance, sa savings account mo, ano password mo sa important files. Kung may minor na anak ka, kagaya namin, 1 year old pa lang baby namin, Sino na pili niyong magiging guardian na mapagkakatiwalaan at sa tingin niyo, same values with you kasi guardian will influence your child. May template din ng personal will pero syempre di ko ilalagay dito kasi gusto ko mag-attend kayo ng seminar kasi iba pa rin pag kayo ang nag-attend kesa kinikwento ko lang. Lastly, always remember that God's perspective of success is having spiritual riches, not worldly riches. Our goal should be faithful stewardship. At the end of the day, it's between you and God. Be accountable to God. When it comes to handling your money, ask wisdom from God. Ako personally, after attending this seminar, na-reflect ko na ang dami na palang nawala sa akin. May umutang sa akin ng malaki, di nagbayad. Nang magnegosyo ako, malaki ang nawalang pera sa akin plus time and effort. Pero during that time, I keep on giving 10% of my income kahit mahirap. I keep on supporting my parents kahit medyo tight ang budget. I keep on doing my best kahit maraming rejections and challenges sa business. Fast forward today, super blessed ako sa family ko, sa health ko. Di ko na maalala kung kailan ako huling nilagnat. Sa business ko as financial educator, grabe si Lord. Every day niya ako binibigyan ng client. I hope marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. Medyo iba lang siya kasi di siya masyadong technical. If you have personal experience, please comment below. I will love to hear your story kung paano ka na-bless ni God. If you want to know more, you may visit our financial center near you. We are conducting free financial coaching in Makati, Cebu, Davao. We also have financial center in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Dubai. And for those who cannot visit our financial center, we have free online seminar. Basta may internet ka, you can join our free online seminar. I put the link below para makapag-register kayo. And very important, please add me in Facebook, Roancelis Capistrano. You may also email me at roancelis at gmail.com or roan at 1millionclub.com if you have queries. Again, this is Roancelis Capistrano of 1 Million Club. To learn more about savings and investments, please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.